What's up guys, in today's video I'll be showing you two easy ways to make slime without using borax. But first, I want to give a quick shout out to my notification squad. Thank you guys so much for supporting my last video. I honestly couldn't believe all the love and the comments and I'm so so grateful. Okay, so for the first recipe, you'll need to mix half a cup of clear PVA glue with half a cup of water and mix them together until, un until they're completely combined. If you like, you can, at this point, add glitter to personalize it. I love the color blue for slime, and so that's what I decided to go for today, but you, you know, choose whichever color makes you happy. Once you've done that, it's time to mix, bleh, make the activator mixture. <laughs> I'm messing up. It's only the beginning of the video and I'm already messing up. I'm actually useless. Anyway, for the activator, you'll need to mix two tablespoons of very warm water with four teaspoons of Kershaw's laundry starch powder and mix it together until it's completely dissolved into a pasty, milky texture. Once you've done that, it's time to add your activator to the glue mixture. One teaspoon at a time though, because this activator is quite powerful. And when you do this, you'll notice the activator immediately thickening the mixture and forming weird, gooey, stringy, white blobs of slime, which is exactly what you want it to do. Just keep repeating this step until almost all of the liquid is gone. Don't worry too much about the white bits, those are going to disappear in the next step anyway. Just keep stirring it in until you reach the stage where the mixture is neither thin nor thick. Once you've reached that stage, it's time to let it sit for about 3 minutes to suck all of that liquid up and look at this you guys. I mean, it, it looks absolutely disgustingly gross. To get rid of this, you'll just need to knead it until it's no longer sticky, which is usually a few minutes. What I love about this recipe is that if you mess up at any point and under or over activate the slime, you can literally just add water or activator and knead it in and still end up with a great slime. Guys, when I tell you this slime was an absolute dream to play with, it was super duper soft, really stretchy, and my hands literally just sunk into it. It didn't stick at all. I recommend everyone try this at home. For the second recipe, you'll need to mix three heaped cups of foaming shaving cream with half a cup of white washable PVA glue. Oh, and please, please, please use a large enough bowl for this. I clearly underestimated how big the slime would be and the mixture was dripping off of the sides and it became super messy, so you definitely need a large bowl for this. Moving on to the activator, for this you'll need to add half a teaspoon of baking soda as well as one tablespoon of saline solution and start whipping it into the mixture. You'll straight away notice the mixture thickening and pulling away from the sides of the bowl, which is exactly what's supposed to happen. Just continue stirring until it becomes too difficult to stir. Once you've reached that stage, it's time to remove the slime from the bowl and start kneading it. Quick tip though, and this is optional, what I like to do before taking the slime out of the bowl is to squirt a few drops of saline solution onto my hands. The slime is quite sticky, so the saline helps to remove some of that stickiness. Once you've done that, it's time to just start kneading. The slime will be sticky to start off with, but the more that you knead, the less sticky it becomes. It took me about three minutes of kneading to get to that perfect, stretchy, fluffy slime texture that I like. And honestly guys, this kneading process was so therapeutic and fun. Even though it was sticky as hell, it was so fluffy and delicious to play with. After a few minutes of kneading, you end up with the fluffiest, softest, stretchiest most amazing slime you can end it right here but you know i love me some color so i decided to divide the slime and give him a bunch of colors and it ended up looking so pretty 